Hello, this is Linda Carruthers again. This will be my second video for the 7th of May. Um, the first one is recording as we speak. And this is what we decided we were going to discuss um, making dangles for your journal. You know, we had, uh, I had, off camera, I had went ahead and I saw where they had the writing down there and I wanted to cover that up. So I put another piece of lace down there. And so that's what I put down here. And so up here it didn't look right. So I just put two more pieces of lace up here. See? So now this is the front of the book. All right. Now we were talking when I left. Uh, we was going to put a dangle on here. Now, somebody says, you know, you might ask what a dangle is. Well, you can go in your old jewelry case, in your jewelry case if you got one, or your jewelry box, or whatever you put your jewelry in, and you get bracelets with little charms on them. And you can use that just like it is, and then that'd be a long dangle. Okay? Um, I don't wear jewelry, but uh, where my medicine is at the drugstore they have these beautiful earrings and stuff i can get them for 99 cents a pair so <clears throat> when i go in there i always look to see if they have any and this is the earring and it had a mate but i've already used part of the mate so this one here is a earring and you can use that as a dangle now, you can use this as a dangle just like it is, or you can take parts of it off, so you can use it on other projects, and just have one piece dangling, like that, or two, or you got three. So you can use this in several different ways to use it. Okay, then you can do like I did on this one. I took all the dangles off, and see it has all these, these little these little uh, 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 the connectors is what they are. They connect uh, the earring to uh, to a charm. This is a charm. I don't know if you can see it. And this one says Made with love is what it says on there. It's a heart. In case y'all didn't see it. Let's see if you can see it on my own hand. Made with love. Okay. And you can add that. You can add beads. Like this little bead that came off of a earring. You can add that. Here's a little purse charm. But you can... Most necklaces have these little beads like that or earrings have those and if you come across an earring you only got one of you can always use the charms or the whatever here's another charm is that's a crown so you can use different charms and you can put them on you all you got to do to connect them to this is take that one and this will bend with your fingers. It's that thin. So you can just bend it. Well, I said it could. Well, I got tools. This is about the tool you'll need. In doing making dangles, you'll need a pair of wire cutters, a pair of pliers. And, and maybe a needle and thread and some scissors. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to pry that open. Bend it just a little, just enough to open it up. Then you're going to put, we're going to put this purple dangle here. We're going to put that in there. Then we're going to close it back up. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing or not. And we're going to close. 
this back up and set, shut it up. Sorry, where did it go? There it is. I heard it fall. So we're going to put that back on there. And then we're going to take, bring them together, straighten it out. And close up the section. Gotta see if I can see it. I usually buy mine already made with the earrings, that's why. But anyway. We'll hope that holds it. Now, see, there's your dangle. Okay, now you have a dangle. Now, you can take in this earring, it even opens up this way. So, let's say I wanted to put, uh, just put, well, can't put that one on there. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Let's put this. This is some more of that earring. See? So we're just going to put it on there like so. And we close this section back up. Yeah. So now we got that thing. See, we got a thing. Now let's say we don't want to, we don't want a big gap and hole like that. Okay? But. Now we have these earrings. Let's say we have the clip on. We don't have the other kind. We got the clip on. This is a clip on earring. And we have these beautiful little balls on there. Beads. And we have this beautiful little um, diamante. Or, or, excuse me. My mind's going black. Anyway, we got all of these. So you want to keep all of those. You may want to use them on other projects. Uh, you can put them in boxes. I have, let me show you how many boxes. I got this box. Is, this is my button box. And it's got all these buttons. I just open it up and I'll show you my buttons. See? I got all different colors and all different kinds. I got all these over here. These are. Uh, vintage buttons and different color buttons. Okay, that's buttons. So you can use buttons in your projects. You can use uh, these are these are my beads and these are uh, things that I use with my dangle projects. Like I see, I got these silver ball beads like that. Uh, I got the these things. I got some of those, and I could tell you normally I could tell you what they're called, but right now my mind's not working that way. And I got these little strands of beads. You can get them by the yard and stuff, and you can take and cut them off and uh, put them in projects. And you got the clear ones, and then you got the pearlized ones. Um, I got tie clips. Um, there's another little dangle came off of an earring. And this, and then here's your spacers. That's what these are called. These are cute. They're spacers. You use them on your dangles and you use them on your stick pins. In case you want to know what a stick pin is, that's what this is. And you use, you have uh, your beads and then you have a, a, 
you have that one that's a bead and then this one here has a this stick pin has the spacers in it see the little spacers there and you can use you get these beads off of all your grandmothers or mom's necklaces that they don't uh, wear anymore and that they maybe broke or whatever and you can keep the pieces and there's a turquoise pin that you can put on a project and so anyway there's all kind of things in there that I can use to make the pins make dangles with well, and all that sort of stuff but there's a big old bead There's my buttons. Man, I have this box, and you can fill up fast on this sort of stuff because you can go to yard sales and get the old jewelry that they're selling for what, dollar, fifty cents, whatever, and cut them up and make all kinds of stuff. See, there's these little beads. And then I have these kind of beads. They're just colored glass or colored plastic that you get off of beads, I mean off of necklaces. Here's your wooden beads. So don't pass up your wooden necklaces. You can use them. Here's some more of the uh, uh, sectional things. Um, I got some more jewelry here. This is a flower that I would use like I would use a flower on a, a project and use it as a flower and uh, maybe keep the these because you can take this apart and here's some little uh, here's another little necklace I took the big piece off already and see there's two flowers there I can use them on projects uh, and here's some dark beads. See, I can use that and dangle it just like that. Just have one dangle, or I can. I got more of them, and I can use them. All of those. Now these are vintage beads. These are old beads. Came off a necklace of my mama's, and so I use them. And this came off of that same necklace. And so these are beads, and I can use them. So these are all stuff that you can use. See, there's a that, and then see, here's this. Okay, now that's them. And I've got one more box to show you. Now, I, in this box, I uh. <coughs> I keep my tiny flowers, but I also have, like the necklace I showed you a while ago, here's the other, I mean the earring, here's the other earring, uh, here's another stick pin, and see it's got the flower in there, and you can do that same thing with these little flowers, you get in different places. Um, Got little bitty flowers. Got flat flowers. And I'm talking about little tiny flowers. Now, I don't expect that you have any of these, but look, look before you throw that old dress away that you was wanting to throw away, maybe it's tore up and ain't no good, but maybe it's got a few flower decorations on it. Um, Take your flower decorations off of it. Keep them. Maybe it's got some pearls or some fancy lace or something. Accessorize those. Access those and before you uh, throw it away. And check to see what can you use off of that before you throw it away. And uh, also the material that it's made out of. Is it lace material or is it uh, country 
like a shabby chic material. A shabby chic is pink and white, all pastel kind of material. Um, but before you throw that dress away, think about it for and see what you uh, can get out of it. Now this is a neck, this is an earring also. You see that dangles. You can just use it just as is, as a dangle on a fancy thing. Now, on our project we got, it's got lace on it, so we want to see what we can use. Now, this is a button. I wanted to show you this button. There's all different kinds of buttons, and some of them are solid color, but some of them has right colors on them or writing on them. And they make beautiful uh, dangles on your dangles. Objects to be put on your dangles. Okay, so this is uh, some Mardi Gras, I mean not Mardi Gras beads, but this is some seed beads with some uh, uh, colored uh, connectors in it. And uh, Trying to think of where I got it from. I think it was in my mama's jewelry box when she passed away. Um, but I can use this and make dangles because it's on thread. I can use this and uh, make a dangle to go on the on the box. But I don't want to do that. I think what I'm going to do. For that now this is already a dangle now this is a fancy one this is what you want to gravitate to eventually but uh, see it has a dangle has always has a connector where that it can connect to the book like I can take this one and I can just pull back on the thing there and I can just hook it up to wherever my thread was at. And there it is. It's already on there. I got my dangle already on it. But this is too heavy. It's too heavy for this book. So we want to make our own. Now, I wanted to show you this one because this is what, um, this is what the fancy ones look like. See, it's I got all them rhinestones and jewelry and stuff on it. See it? It's got all them trims and it's got uh, uh, well, it's got charms on it. It's got all these charms and stuff. And see what they did was they took a piece of wire. You can see it on this one. They took a piece of wire using the uh, using your wire clippers. They take excuse me. They take and bend it so that on this end it makes a loop, and it makes that loop right there. Then they put like they put all these little beads on there. And then after they put all them beads on there, they take on this end and they make another little loop. A smaller loop, but small enough that this beads can't go, go across it. Okay, now this loop, if you wanted to add some stuff to it, you could add some more stuff to it because you could stick another piece of wire through there and make a loop and add some more. But this is a simple one. This is a simple one. This is just uh, has the beads on it. And then you can have, like this one is, is a piece of chain. This is the hook, the connector. And then it's hooked to some chain. So like, so like this, it's just some chain. You might find some broken chain you can use because you don't have to have a big old long piece like this. You can just have a piece of chain. So like that. Maybe not even that big. Maybe that big. However big you want it to be. However long you want it to be. <coughs> Excuse me. Then all they did was make another one. And they put one of those connecting things right there. 
and then they put the bead on there, and they put the little small loop, and that's all they did there. They and they connected the first end to the chain. Now, to the chain here. Let's see if I can show you how they did it. Uh, yeah. We'll use this one here. Alright, this is an earring. Alright, we're going to stick that through there. And this is just a simple way you can do this. You don't have to go out and buy the wire or nothing. You can use the wire from the earring. Now we're going to take this wire I can see it long enough. Now we're going to bend that wire which we just did. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to bring. This piece up. We're going to bring that up. Bring it on up to there. Well, I'm trying to get it in there. It's bad when you can't see it. Ah. Uh. Anyway, you connect this in. I was trying to get it through that hole right there. Let's see if I can't bend this just a tad. Now, maybe I can get it through there. Lo and behold, I think I got it through there. My little fat fingers won't let me. Okay, well, I might not got it on there just right, but I got it on there. Okay. Okay. So it's on there. Not perfect, but it's on there. We don't care about being perfect. It's a juncture. Okay. Now. We have that piece on there. Alright. Now we want to, uh, we're going to disconnect that right there where the Eiffel Tower is so we have the rest of this. So we're going to disconnect it right here. So to disconnect a piece, if we just want to disconnect it and don't worry about whether it's 
we want to bring it back to the cutting part of the section. This is your needle no this is your uh, wire cutters. And you take the part, top part is how you make your circle. And uh, you can use a flat to flatten something down with. Then here you want to use this part to grip it if it's big enough. And then back here you want to cut. So you, we're going to put that back there to the back. Excuse me. I don't know if I'm strong enough or not. Yeah. So there it is. It's cut off. Okay. So now, look. Not only do I have a dangle, it's two tone. I got gold and I got silver, and I also have the little sparklies. Okay. And then I still have this part that I can use. To dangle with. To use as a dangle. Okay. Now. We can leave it like this. Or we can even use. This one here. Now that we got. Just a simple piece. And I tell you what. Since we got the little purse already on there. Why don't we use this piece. Now. We're going to take this piece. Because now we can swap. We don't have to. Stick with one thing. This is the thing about junk journals. You don't have to stick with one way of doing something. If you change your mind and you want to do it a different way, that's fine. You can do that. So, now, let's see. We want to... Since we already got a purse on there, and we got a ring on there, and we're doing crafting, why don't we go ahead and put this... Oh, let's see, we can, I was trying to find a color to go with our green and blue. I'm going to put that on there. All right, let's see, we could take that off if we wanted to. All right, since this is a girly book, let's put the crown. She's the queen of shopping. Okay, we're going to put this little crown on there. So we're going to take, and at this end right here, we're going to take one of these How did I get stuck with it? How did I get that stuck? We're just going to cut that off for the time. Alright. Now, we want to get one of these ringlets here, because we want to use one of these. To put that crown on. So we're going to take our pliers, we're going to pull it off, and take that off, put the crown on. Now, we're going to take this, come down here to the end of the, end of the uh, chain, get to the end of the chain, let me get it in that last two. Alright, we got it in there. Now, all we got to do is close it back. I'm sorry if y'all don't see this, I can't look at y'all and... Uh, do this too, so I'm hoping I got it in frame where you can see. Now, I use, now this is where having a pair of pliers and your, your thing comes in handy because you can hold it with a pair of pliers. I'm holding it with my fingers instead. And move that charm out of the way. Okay. 
I'm holding one side with my fingers instead of a pair of pliers. And I'm holding the other side with this mitten cutter. Now I want to bring them together. I don't want to take them apart. I just want to bring them together a little bit. So I freeze both ends together. Now, yeah, I got both ends together. No, I'm not quite together. So let's bring them closer together. Now, okay. Whoa, got it too far together. Let's flatten it. Okay. Uh, okay, now we got. Now you see what I did? I used the top part here to spread them apart. Then when I got ready to close them, I used the top part to close them together. But then I also used this right here in the middle, this middle part right here, to smash it so that it would be together, right, uh, completely closed. Alright, I use the cutting part right here to cut the chain. And you can use, like if I was using two of these, like I could hold the jury like that in one and then put the other, use the other one to squeeze and hold and do the work. See what I'm saying? So you could have two. You could have your pliers which would do that, and you could use the cutting one to cut or to add it into. Okay. Now, now we got our, our dangle on there. So now we have, we have our ring, we have this pretty pink purse, and now we have the crown. Okay. So now we're going to put this as our dangle. So now because we got a hole, we don't have a clasp, we have this hole right there. So now we can take, untie our book. We can, uh, I'm going to use the second one and let the first one dangle. Right. So we have two dangles. We put it on there and then we're just going to tie it. Okay, and put it together like so. Maybe not quite so. Now, there's our dangle on our, our book. It's a little long, but that's all right. It's, it's real thin. It's like a, the book, you have to measure your dangle according to how heavy your book is. If you got a little book, you don't like if this is a little book, you don't want to put this big old heavy thing. This thing weighs more than this book does. See, that's too much. And you can put them back here. You can put them up here, like this one is. Uh, you can, if you got uh, a big book or a big uh, journal. You can put one here, you can put one here, you can put some in the middle, depending upon how big your dangle is. Okay? So, anyway, if you uh, want to do a dangle, look, like I said, look for old broken jewelry. Don't throw that jewelry out just because you lost the other earring or, or maybe you broke the chain and you want to throw it away. No, don't do that. Keep it. Put it in your storage container and you'll be glad you did because one day you'll be wanting to make a dangle and you'll have pieces to make a dangle with okay and uh, so when you go to them yard sales and they got that jury out there for like five maybe 50 cents or a dollar or something and you, and you say you know i can make a dangle out of that pick it up it doesn't matter i and there's uh like to call the Mardi Gras beads and stuff. If somebody, my, 
I don't know where they get them from. A lot of parades have them and stuff. Uh, they throw them out. And my daughter would give me a bunch of them. My mama gave me a whole slew, a bag full of them. I'm talking about a Walmart bag full of them. And at one time, I was so glad when I got through with the last one. I couldn't stand them things. But anyway, they're, they make good things. So check out your different places. Think about outside the box. And uh, like Jean and Jean. Uh, Jennings 644 always said think outside your box and look and see what you can find uh, if you go to flea markets and they got all those scrap they got them bottles of jewelry think about them and see if you can afford those things that's fine uh, Go like I go to my my uh, drugstore where I get my medicines, and they have these earrings for 99 cents. Now, and that's that's not plastic. I believe that's glass. That's not plastic. And uh, they, uh, and I find these earrings, a pair of earrings for 99 cents. And you can always, I found these for 99 cents. And this was 99 cents. Uh, these were 99 cents. So I'm just saying, you know, you can find earrings. These were 99 cents. So just look, look in places that you don't normally look at. And when you come across jewelry, don't add the like, uh, yard sales or at your uh, car boots if you're in another country or whatever pick up some jewelry you know if it's cheap enough now don't go spending money for it because you can find this stuff if, if your mama gave you some jewelry before she passed and you just had never thought about what to do with it go through it see what you can find make a dangle so that you can remember her by and put it on your journal. Okay? All right. Well, y'all take care. That's my dangle. And y'all take care. Have a blessed day. Good day. And God bless y'all. Bye-bye.